Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Ursa Major Wave Marvel Legends Iron Man Stealth Iron Man. It's definitely the most convenient way to say that. This is basically just a recolor of the Iron Man that we got not that long ago, which was an excellent, excellent release. And this one is also, this one does have a few strange oddities about it, which definitely need to be talked about, but there's also a lot going on that's really nice. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. And this guy stands just about six and three quarter inches, which makes him pretty close to 17 centimeters. And obviously at first glance, it looks awesome. It's very metallic blue. We have two different blues here. And that unfortunately is one of the problems. Not that there are two, but that the two they chose aren't quite what I was expecting. I was expecting something like this. Now I haven't checked lately. Maybe there's a version where there's just two very similar dark blues for this particular stealth suit. I do remember the lighter blue with the darker blue. So I'm a little bit bummed out about that, but there is enough of a difference that it's not terrible. It's just something that stood out to me. We do have the lighter blue for the limbs and the faceplate, then the darker blue for everything else. And it does look really, really nice. The dark blue especially is super pearly. Uh, actually, they both are. They're just both wonderful blues. Very, very well put together. It is not painted. It is molded plastic. So we have various types of plastic here, but they did a good job of blending them all together, making them all match. Uh, everything looks really good as far as the paint go, or as far as the molded plastic goes, except for this arm for me. For some reason, it is not at all as deep looking. Like it doesn't have that semi-transparency going on. It almost looks like a different plastic altogether. Like this hand and this arm, although the hands wouldn't be done. It looks like it's from a different batch of figures or something, but that's hardly noticeable and probably not gonna be universal. Uh, the faceplate is painted, so that's gonna stand out as being slightly different than the other light colors, but it's done pretty well, it's nice. So that's good. The chest is painted with a little bit of shading going on, so that's pretty cool. Then we do have the red and blue eyes painted. Red and blue eyes. Red eyes and mouth painted behind the faceplate. That's pretty cool, it looks good. That's it for paint. And before we get into the rest of the review, let's do a question of the day. Would you guys like to see all of the various suits from the old Iron Man cartoon? I would. The ones that they made toys of, like the samurai armor, the green one with the spikes on the back. I would like to see figures of all of those toys. The submarine one, sub whatever. The space one. I want all of those Iron Man suits. I wish they could do that. I would like that. They could do them all based on this body, but make it more like the uh, cartoon look. Okay, so like they have to change things. I get it. But you guys can let me know if you would like to see that. All right, so let's go ahead and continue with the aesthetic. Obviously, the sculpt is good. It looks just like the previous Iron Man, so that's fine. There's really nothing wrong with it. They did a really good job with the proportioning. This is still one of their best figures to date as far as molds go. It's it's really nice. Now, unfortunately, I have noticed a problem with these blue Iron Man figures, and that is that the, the limbs, it seems like it's only the limbs. So probably all of the PVC, I don't know if it happened up here on the thighs, but it definitely wouldn't have happened up here. Um, yeah, they did a really good job matching these two, by the way. It's not perfect because this is not PVC, this is, but it does look good. So anyway, they, it leaches the plasticizers out, so you get that white powder. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you effectively. I have some in there on the boot. Right now, I don't think it's going to really show up on camera. But you guys have probably seen figures where they get that white powder on them. Sometimes, there, you can see it in the elbow. Sometimes it happens when they're in the package just waiting to be purchased. Sometimes it'll happen while it's on your shelf. There's no telling when it's going to happen, but this guy seems to do it. I've had two of them now, and they both did it, so be aware it does leach plasticizer, so you're going to have what looks like white dust on the figure that just comes from it. Um, now, some of them do stop over time. Some of them get worse. Some of them have been clear-coated so that it doesn't happen, and there's just no telling what's going to What's going to be the case with this guy obviously it hasn't been clear coated so who knows um i guess we'll see it's just something you have to deal with but if you don't mind wiping him down it's no big deal so that's okay so either way i'm going to give it an aesthetic rating of 9 out of 10. it's really really nice looking very very good all right now as far as accessories go we do have the helmeted head and we have the unhelmeted head which is pretty nice I'll take that. That's like a classic Tony Stark. Nothing wrong with that. We do get the two repulsor hands with the repulsor holes in them. And we get some blast effects. These aren't the best looking blast effects we've ever seen, but they'll do. They're okay. I'd like a little bit more uh, translucence, a little bit more saturation, but they're okay. I would also like some repulsor blast hands that aren't paint that are painted that don't just have the holes in them. But again, this will do. 
So that's okay, it's not a bad batch of accessories. I'll give it a seven out of 10, I'll take it. And now it's time for the articulation. It shouldn't be any surprise because we've seen all of this before. The head is on the same hinge that lets him look up and then the ball peg that lets him adjust a little bit. He does look down nicely. Of course, side to side, a little bit of attitude. That's pretty good. Shoulders have full rotation, better than horizontal. Bicep swivel is fine, double jointed elbow. The gauntlet does get in the way, but you do get a little bit better than 90 degrees. It should be okay. Wrists have a swivel and a hinge. The repulsor hands have no hinge, by the way. Ab crunch goes back well enough. It goes forward, not all that far. Waist twist is fine. These guys are flexible, so they'll get out of the way of the hips, which go out better than 45 degrees. I'll take that. Going forward, they have a nice kick to them. That should be okay. They don't go back all that far. His legs do seem to close a little bit farther, a little bit closer together than the golden yellow. Golden yellow, I cannot speak today. Red and gold Iron Man. But still, I would prefer if they could go just a little bit closer for his flight poses. But this will do, it's fine. You do get your thigh swivel and your double jointed knee. No problems there. Do we have a boot swivel? We do, that'll help. Ankles go all the way back and really far forward and you get a really solid ankle rocker. So all in all, it's a good batch of articulation. Just like before, it's a really solid figure, one of their best. It has really nice proportioning, good sculpt work, good everything, nothing wrong with it. If you're an Iron Man fan, this is a good time to collect Marvel Legends because they're releasing these classic designs which are made very nicely. And this is one of them. So yeah, I'll rate the articulation uh, eight out of 10. It's pretty good, nothing special, but it is pretty good. I'll give the figure a final verdict of Nine out of 10, it's really good. Could it be better? Sure, we could have more painted parts, we could have more differentiation in the colors, little things here and there, but it is a really strong release and it's gonna look really good on a shelf. Catches the light wonderfully and it's gonna pose just fine. So I definitely recommend you pick it up. It's a fun one. I like it a lot. It's one of my personal favorites. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you might want to. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. In the meantime, keep collecting.